Okay, so in this video we're going to talk about the ideal gas law, which is the law that deals with all four gas variables affecting each other at the same time. Okay, so temperature, pressure, volume, and amount of gas, and how all four of those are affecting each other. All right, ideal gas law. Here we go. So for the ideal gas law, okay, uh, it deals with all four variables affecting each other. Okay, so we're not keeping anything constant. Instead, we're going to see how all four of these things are interacting together. Okay, um, and that means there's really no, not going to be initial and final conditions. Okay, because again, nothing is kept constant. So we're just looking at how all four of these things interact and we get this lovely equation of PV equals NRT, okay? Most of these letters should be very, uh, you know, comfortable for you because we've been dealing with them all the time. Pressure, volume, number of moles, what the heck is R, and temperature, okay? So at least four out of the five you should be super familiar with. And we have to be really very specific with ideal gas law in our units, okay? So as if we weren't being super specific to begin with, um, but now we really have to be careful to get everything in the correct units, okay? So pressure has to be in atmospheres. Volume has to be in liters. You cannot leave it in milliliters. You will screw up, okay? If you leave it in milliliters, you have to convert everything to exactly these units. So pressure's in atmosphere, Volumes in liter, number of moles is in moles, temperature is in Kelvin, and we're left with what the heck is this R, okay? So R is actually called the ideal gas constant, okay? And you don't need to memorize it. It's a constant. It's on the back of your periodic table. It's given to you cool times, all right, it is this beautiful number, 0 0.0821 liters of atmospheres divided by moles Kelvin. I know that looks like an absolute bear, but I promise when you actually use it in an equation, everything works out, okay, and all your units will cancel and it'll be beautiful and you'll get the right answer. Okay, so pressure is in atmosphere, volume is in liter, number of moles is in moles, R is your gas constant on the back of your periodic table that you don't have to memorize, 0 0.0821 liters of atmosphere divided by moles Kelvin, temperatures in Kelvin. Okay, all right. Oh, okay, one more thing about the units, right? So your ideal gas constant is liters of atmosphere per mole Kelvin. Sometimes you'll actually see this written of liters of atmosphere and it'll say mole to the negative one, Kelvin to the negative one. Okay, so depending on your comfortability with uh, math and exponents, this may throw you for a loop. Please don't let it, it's not scary or anything to the negative one power just means you're flipping it so it's on the denominator. So probably if someone was typing out a worksheet or if this is on the back of your periodic table or something, okay, they were just typing it so it would all stay on one line of their document, okay? So saying moles to the negative one means that that mole goes on the denominator. Kelvin to the negative one means Kelvin goes on the denominator. They're the same stinking thing, okay? 